Now 21 minutes past eight. If we extract gas through fracking, as we are set to do after the government's decision last week about a site in Lancashire, where does that leave our goals on low carbon energy and on climate change? The Oscar-nominated filmmaker Josh Fox made a documentary in 2010 about fracking, credited with sparking a rise in fractivism or environmental activism against fracking. In his new film, he travels to six continents to look at the effects of climate change. Can a person stop a wave? Could you stand on the shore and stop a wave from crashing? Well, the film is called How to Let Go of the World and Love All Things Climate Can't Change. It's directed by Josh Fox, who's with us in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. What Good are to you be trying here. to say in this film? Well, I, the film starts with us actually beating the fracking industry in my own backyard, which is something that no one said would, would ever happen. Uh, we actually defeated the fracking industry. They, ne- they were never able to come into the Upper Delaware River Basin or or New York State. We banned fracking there. Um, and so, but I quickly realized that climate change, even though we can beat the fracking industry in my own backyard, climate change could come and wreak havoc on everything that we love. Right. Because the trees uh, in, in my area, the forests, are dying from a parasite that's uh, increasing because of warming temperatures. And then right after that, Hurricane Sandy slams into New York City. It's a kind of one-two punch that jolts me out of our celebrations and says, you got to go back to work. Okay. And you end up traveling to all across continents, the world. 12, 12 countries yeah, because um, to we're look in... at this. But it, and Gasland, the film you made about fracking, was very influential, in particularly in, in the American debate on, on the fracking technique. Yeah. Was your problem with fracking about the fact that it produces more carbon or was it about the safety of the process? Well, it's it's many fault. I mean, obviously the science says that fracking contaminates water supplies. It says that it pollutes the air. It says that it creates a public health crisis. Hang on, you say the science says that, but... Oh, 850 are... peer-reviewed studies. I mean, look, when I first started this in 2008, doing citizen-based journalism on fracking, going all across the United States and all across the world, investigating the effects of this technique, there was no citizen uh, peer-reviewed science. Now there are 850 studies that prove every single thing that is in that film, from water contamination to air pollution to earthquakes. Okay. To the contamination why, of our why, why, in that, why, why in that case, just picking up one of your points, what, why if it's so clear on the contamination of drinking water did the former head of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency say to Congress that there have been zero proven cases of water contamination due to fracking? Well, she was lying. Uh, the, Lisa Jackson was absolutely not saying correctly uh, the information. She was she, lying. In fact, she testified before yes, Congress I know. to that. And, and, I, and, I, and, I interviewed, and I interviewed her just shortly after that in which she retracted those statements and she said that they were uh, torqued by the oil and gas industry to make it sound sound but she was in a repeating oil and gas industry points but you know just because uh, a person from the u.s epa said something the u.s epa has been caught uh, manipulating science um over and over again in this process in fact their science advisory review board just came just came out and said that the epa's own conclusions were misstated at on the cover of their report so US EPA is actually not a valid source of information on fracking right now. It okay. is not. <laughs> it's it's the it's the US government's environment. Well, I made Protection an entire Agency. film called Gasland 2 which uh, details very clearly the co- collaboration between the government and the oil and gas industry which is uh, a more uh, a different level of contamination due to fracking which you're suffering right here in right, uh, and, the UK uh, which is the contamination on, w- of your politicians. Wait, I, I want to get on to what we should do here in just a moment but just going back to something that was it that was a, a key part of of what you into Gasland, where you, you, you show people who are living in areas where fracking is taking place being able to set their water on fire. Yeah, and there are peer-reviewed studies that show that you are 17 times more likely to have methane in your groundwater if you live within one mile right, of a fracking But that's not site. because... Right, right but, but, but the presence of methane is not because of fracking. No, that's absolutely not true. When you are fracking in the substrata, and then you, you drill down through the water table, and you have a, a leaking gas well, and most of these gas wells leak. Look, Isn't it the case that long, is, long before... Look, hang on, just one minute. We don't need to relitigate Wait, the fact you, that you, fracking you contaminates water You say it's proven, but some, but some people have a very different... View. And well, is I say it, it's is proven, it, and I'm is trying it, to, to explain to you how it happens. Is it not the case that, that long before fracking started in some of these areas, people could no, take, take a match? No, to, hang on, you haven't heard what I'm going to ask you. It is absolutely not the that, case. That, that people could a, not... This, that, is, that, this, is not that, this is absolutely not the case, and if I'm allowed to state my people, position... Hang on, but you don't you don't know what I'm going to... You haven't heard the end of my question. Is it not the case that people could set fire to their water in some areas before fracking ever took place in those areas? Yeah, it is also the case that people got lung cancer who didn't smoke, but the primary 
primary cause of cancer in those cases was smoking. And the primary cause of people's water contamination and, and being able to light your water on fire and other contamination, right? Oil and gas contamination, volatile organic compounds such as benzene getting into people's uh, water is a direct link to fracking. And that's been proven over and over again. Right. And, well, and, it, well, and it doesn't make any sense to go back into this right now. This is oil and gas contamination of uh, the dialogue on the subject. Because what they've done is a concerted effort uh, and a campaign to try to spread misinformation on the subject. There have been, been a million wells um, uh, fracked in, uh, for shale gas. And in, oil and in, gas. Right? And have there been any proven cases of water contamination? Hundreds of proven them? cases. Thousands of proven cases. This is very clear. It's in the EPA's own report. Um, but the Obama administration was caught, uh, like I said, uh, when you have a scientific report that's a thousand pages long, um, I don't know if you've read it. I know that I've read it because I'm a specialist in the subject. Mm -hmm. What most people do is read the cover letter on the on the top of it, and the Obama administration okay. was caught Be manipulating right. just, the cover letter just, just finally, on the top on, of, on the, what, of the report. On, on, because we're in a very different era in this country where uh, the where green light has just been given to... Hang on, where, 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 where the green light has just been given by the government to fracking mm -hmm. in one area. Now, what, what, what is being said here is that fracking in this country will be much better regulated than it has been in the US. But it's uh, hang on. So uh, the Environment Agency will issue permits, the government will track emissions, the health and safety executive will scrutinize every well, um, then operators will have to gain further consent in order to minimize unnecessary gas emissions. And we've heard this that over means and over. It's, it's as safe as it can be. We, well, as safe as it can be. You cannot ch change the laws of physics. When you drill through uh, the strata and you have uh, temperature changes and pressures down there, you cannot build a gas well that is impervious to leakage. And the oil and gas industry's own science, their own study, says the best that they can do is 5% leakage, uh, uh, 95 percent of these wells won't leak. But that's 5 percent. That's one out of 20. And if you drill 100 wells, you know, do the math. You're talking about a very significant contamination rate when one well itself can contaminate an entire aquifer. And as time goes by, you're talking about 30 to 50 percent of those wells uh, leaking. So this is what the people in Blackpool are saying. They're saying we we did everything right. We were citizens. We created a grassroots movement to, right. to make Josh sure that Fox, we didn't have Josh this Fox. health and safety problem. Josh Fox, um, thank you very much. Yeah. <sighs>